that weird Eastern European tackiness is now gone. One of them said Frankenstein-like, and that's really severe. Frankenstein. Today I'm reacting to a photo shoot from America's Next Top Model that you guys claim is one of the best photo shoots from the history of the show. So I had to take a look and see, is it really the best? Okay, very artistic. That's literally people when I'm walking down the street. Nobody moves. Okay. He's very, he's very much in shape. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. I feel like I just watched the feature film. <laughs> very impressive. I, I would totally have been wiped out from the, the cardboard boxes. That would have took me out. They would have came in with the stretcher for sure. Fun. Actually, it does. Yeah. You use that as your metaphor for today. You all are struggling here and there, and you need to that y say no more. He's like, you guys are all struggling here and there. I'm like, yeah, absolute on this show. Yes. You're not busted through the wall like I did. Ah, why? Why not? Oh, there's. Oh. That looks like fun. Put me up there. So we are that's a that's a cool con. That's cool with the water and that giant plastic material holding them up. I mean, it looks very creative, very cool. I like where this is going so far. Little disappointed when Mr. J said the girls will not be busting through cardboard boxes uh, that they created into a giant wall on a treadmill. And flying through the air on a harness. Missed an opportunity there. You hit, why not? That's what all I want to know is why. You guys did all the other stuff, right? So we are actually going to be shooting you girls from down here. I'm just going to do this photo shoot because, like, it's clear mylar, you know? Like, you can see the floor. I'm stripping away all of the hair products, all of the makeup products. It is you raw. Okay. That's gonna be why do they have why do they have a team of people doing this? They have they they brought the makeup artist to come in. They're like, you're gonna be removing makeup today. I'd be pissed if I had if I woke up crack of dawn, six AM, stood in line to get my coffee, and I'm like, I'm working for America's next top model today as a makeup artist. And then they're like, You are gonna be wiping away her face with a with a makeup wipe. But okay, there it's gonna be the raw photo shoot, very natural. I'm liking it. I usually when I do photography, I work with girls, no makeup, just natural hair. So I love it. What we're gonna do is actually gonna put you guys up top. When you start moving around, we really want to capture movement and shapes. You can't look like a dead fish in the water. No. All right? No. Okay. I'm really excited. It's such a cool opportunity to do this, and I just want to make a good impression on the judges. Do they give them like a? Do they do like on a demonstration of some kind? Do they have a stunt person? Photog you know, show them how to. Because I feel like if they were gonna fall into this, maybe you could hurt your nose, right? Falling flat on there. Is there a way that you fall? I'm okay, let's watch. Maybe they'll. They will tell the girls like fall this way or go do this kind of thing. All right, Claire, obviously we need your face in the water. Remember, don't put your nose straight down. Your job is to keep your body interesting and the, and the water moving. All right, I'm going to slide in. You don't have to. But she wants to. Two, three. Ow. You swirl around. My head hurts. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Dude, you can really hurt your face and your neck, especially doing something like that. See, this is why I feel like they should have did a little demonstration. When we saw the performers in the beginning, they were going wild. It was like a pinball machine. They were going like this, all over this. So maybe that's why she thought, like, oh, maybe I'll just fall just like them. I don't know that it was the best idea. She should have did the slide. I like the slide idea. I'm all about, I love water slides. Slide. She should have just did that. God, I hope that she's okay though, man. That looked like her. 
my head just starts ringing. I get up and I'm like, whoa, like seeing stars. Are you all right? You okay? Oh my God. Do you want a second? Dude, okay. she needs an ambulance or something. He's like, would you like a few moments? Okay, no, you need a hospital bed. Okay, you need an IV going? All right, okay. If this were me, I would have just told them, don't fall flat on there. I would have at least given them ways of starting off this photo shoot, right? Or, or is that, or should they have known? Okay. Oh my God, did I just like ruin my shoot because I just trying to slam my face into this plastic. She can't go again? So Dominique, we're gonna just shoot with you right now and we're gonna oh, okay. play a second. And I'd prefer if you do not fall down onto that thing. I wouldn't be that stupid to slam my face. That, there we go. Thank you, Mr. J. A little late, but better late than never. I wouldn't be that stupid to slam my face on a little thing like that. <laughs> Looking good, Dominique. Keep changing your body. Wow, she the looks colors. She like a ballerina in the water. It's her bone structure works for it. It's the first time we've seen expression in her. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. The colors. Oh my God, the lights. It looks gorgeous with the fabric in the water. This is definitely going to be a cool photo shoot. Can't wait to see the final pictures. Dominique, you rocked my world in that shoot. You should have had this before. <laughs> How do, <laughs> she's, she's like, I'm okay. They gave Claire a few minutes to recover, which actually I'm glad they did that. Hopefully she got her head checked out. Sure, yeah. So just lay down gently. Let's get yeah. you in position. Okay, so that's, she see, that's good. Slide, didn't she? Claire has a way of trying to impress people. It's a little too much sometimes. We need more movement. Keep it moving. I started to forget my body because I was just trying to keep my eyes open and not blow bubbles. She needs to arch her back. She needs... Claire, arch your back, push, push your booty out. It just needs a little more shape to it. Yeah, love Mr. J's feedback. Oh my God, this is looking so beautiful. Look at the, just the colors and the light coming through. Gorgeous so far. You guys told me, you guys left me a comment saying that this is like one of your favorite photo shoots and that I need to check it out. I'm definitely liking it so far. Her legs look dead. She was very slow moving. It was just a little stilted. Hey Lauren, just make sure you angle your face a little. Don't put your nose straight down. I'm in there, Mike. Love that. Mr. J is really giving good constructive advice that is helping improve the photo. He's seeing what's what how the girls are posing. Like they can't see what the photographer's seeing. So we have someone like Mr. J who's giving them that feedback. Normally as a photographer, I would be the one saying that because I'd be looking at every picture and being like, okay, adjust this, move your chin down. But Mr. J is in that position and I think he's doing a great job so far. I'm in there, my contacts are popping out. I can't see, but I'm trying to stay in the light. Oh no. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that would suck because I wear contacts and I, I there's no way I'm opening my eyes in any type of water because my contacts would just be flapping everywhere, flapping around in my eyeball. One thing you may not know is because I wore glasses when I was on the swim team during the races, when I would race, I wouldn't wear my glasses, I couldn't see while I was racing. I, I would do the backstroke. So for those races, I literally would just be swimming and I remember just not, everything's blurry. So I would have to count on just my feeling of the wall. Like when I finally hit, felt the wall, I was gonna hit the wall, I would have to do the little turnaround in the water and, and then just keep swimming, do the next lap. So I know how it's, it sucks. You're just not able to see anything. Do you ever come to her? Can you come back over this way? Every time you see that flash go, move again. Angle your face a bit. Great That's job. Good. What's really interesting is Lauren's our little awkward girl that we thought couldn't pose in front of the camera. And actually, this is the first day that Lauren looked awkward in front of the camera. Her face was a little squinched, bubbles coming out of her nose. All right. I mean, the bubbles I don't mind as much. I think that kind of adds to it. But I, the girl's got to breathe. So making her head, dunk her head in a little water puddle she's got to be able to breathe for some shots so i don't i think she's doing an incredible job mr j is really helping with these pictures he's giving amazing direction 
So far, so good. She's practicing. I love her. <laughs> wow. Oh my so God. Anya, every now and then you forget to point your toes. So the feet just look like blocks at the end of your legs. But when you point your toes, it looks more graceful, like a painting. Yes. Much better. Last frame. It does look kind of like a painting. Oh my God. Loving this so far. Can I, how do I, how do I set this up? Who's, gonna, where can I do something like this? Does anyone have a theater I can borrow? With some, I got, I have some plastic wrap and a water bottle. Am I able to do this? Question, are the girls reusing the same water? Because I feel like after the first few girls, it can get kind of musty, right? Every time they do a photo shoot involving water, I question it. Uh, as you know, Ty, once you have a new style. I think this is your best shoot to date. Yeah? It made me feel like, oh my God, did we give her the wrong makeover? Should we have cut her hair? Oh, I've they're- I've hair long for all my life. And mm. just to have it snipped away, it was just a little upsetting. Wow, that looks good. Wow. <laughs> Aw, she still looks cute. Everybody's changed, everybody's changed, so after that initial period of being a little upset, I'll, I'm happy. I can understand. Whenever I cut my hair, it's I've always had long hair. So whenever I cut my hair, I'm like, damn, should I have done? I always it's like immediate regret. Even though I plan it, I Photoshop myself with short hair. I'm like, this is how I'm gonna look. I plan the outfits with the short hair. I know. I'm. I tell everyone I'm gonna do short hair. Yeah, that's my look this year. And then I do it, and I'm like, god damn it, where's my what's in? I go and buy uh, hair growth right away. I go I, like right from the salon. I go to the store. And I'm like, do you guys have vitamins for hair growth? Yeah. I don't know why I do that, but I do. So I definitely, I definitely get it. Love that. So guitars in the, don't forget your legs. There you go. Can you put your face in the water? Ooh, that's pretty. As we talked Katarzyna through the shoot, she became more comfortable. And she turns into this graceful goddess. Do you think that they cut her hair right before the photo shoot? Maybe to, I don't know get a reaction and see if she's gonna just mess up the photo shoot not do as well because it upset her that her hair was cut or do you think like oh no she it's normal they cut hair on photo shoots all the time and it wouldn't really affect anybody but I'm I really like her attitude about she's like I embrace the change and, and I think she looks beautiful with short hair so just just something I thought of I don't know how I feel about standing on saran wrap when I wear <laughs> Than like 60 pounds. Oh, that's Love that. I have no idea what you look like. I mean, how often do you practice laying in puddles on the ground? Don't yeah, true. To really move your body around. Wow. Really good, Whitney. Whitney oh my was God. Not afraid to lay her face in the water. She looked comfortable, and she was not afraid to smile. That was incredible. Yes. Oh my God, that was so good. Are there? Is there more? Legs look a little dead right now. Like oh, God. Just hanging there. Have fun with it. Give us Stacey Ann fun. Oof. I do agree with him. He, she does need to create more shape in her legs. But I'm glad that he's at least telling her this. So far, Mr. J's advice has been on point. Oof. Well, that's pretty. We got one. We Stacey got one. Stacey Ann. Look at Fatima. Don't get all serious on me, Fatima. She's like laughing. <laughs> Pretty. Oh, look at that. Wow. Gorgeous. Look at the smile on her face. You're done. That looks good. You're done. That. <laughs> That's a wrap. Love. That. This looks fun, though. Look at that. Loved it. Love. Good energy. Great modeling, beautiful setup, wonderful lighting, love the outfits, love the styling. Everything was great. Fun to watch. I enjoyed this one. We need to see the final photos, so let's take a look. Well, your outfit is very much like what the Furza Brucha girls wear. Yeah, and I face planted it really bad, and I'm still really sore. I heard that you were told not to face plant, but you did anyway, and then got your neck messed up. Okay, Claire. Oh, so they did tell her not to do that. 
I love how that. Ty- Why did Tyra like just blame that on her? I love how Tyra's like, you were told not to, but you went ahead in any way, and that's how you hurt your neck, and that's how you have a concussion. I love how Tyra just did not care. She's like, you were told not to. I heard that you were told not to do that, but I don't know if I heard that. This could be hearsay. At this, it is hearsay technically. I don't know if this would be admissible in court, Tyra. But I, I mean, from what we saw, wouldn't they have put that in there if they told them not to do the face plan? Because I don't think they told them. Hey, Claire, here is your best shot. Wow. Wow. These are beautiful. You know, it's a very interesting picture. It's a beautiful shot, although facially your profile looks very kind of flattened to me. Yeah, we were told to like only face basically the light. Okay, the light's in one place, okay, it's to your side. That doesn't mean that you can't even lift your face away from the mother and then catch the light and then still look at the camera. I agree with you. Okay, were you there? Were you there, Nigel? Nigel, Habibi, what's going on? Did someone park in your spot? Why Nigel seems annoyed? at the model for being to- for doing what she was told which is to just keep a profile and she's supposed to like know the the metrics of the lighting and the angles and how the lighting is that's the photographer's job and that's the creative director's job to get the best profile of the face and if they didn't think it was good then they would have adjusted it but here we see in this picture, that's how it turned out. Camera. I agree with Nigel. It would have probably made a better picture. I love your arms like this. It has a sense of movement. I, I like it. I think it's a lovely shot. All I'm going to say is how is Claire supposed to know that her side profile looks flattened if the photographer is not telling her to adjust her face? How, how would she know? She doesn't see the final photos that, are, that the photographer is taking. So to place this blame on her, I, I don't agree with. You got like 17 lights and you want her to know where, oh yeah, um, uh, two inches from the right we have a beauty dish and uh, there's a soft box, there's a strip light actually to the back of that and then we have a gel light, it's an LED. I mean, how is she supposed to know where everything is? There's a billion lights. It's like Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory but there's no, there's no chocolate, just, just lighting. Well, are you ready to see your best shot under the water? Well, it's hard one to- oh my goodness. Number one, let's keep this moving. Describe. I'm basically it's just so you good. You lifted your head up here. That angle works very well on your face. I think the silhouette is nice. I like your eye contact. I think your mouth could have been maybe gorgeous. More relaxed. You struggled with this though. Don't you? no. Tra- don't. It's beautiful, you guys. Let's just skip everything they say. I'm like, this is just beautiful. She definitely had the best photo. We- it literally, it's only been one other photo. I'm being dramatic, but it's such a beautiful picture. You struggled with this though, didn't you? Because looking at your film, girl. Yeah, I was trying to swim and I'm like, okay, look at the camera and pose and blah, 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 blah. I saw all of that and it made getting your best shot really difficult. You know, just go up. <gasps> I love how they put up the most beautiful photo. And then Tyra doesn't even compliment it. She just, she's just like, you struggle to get this shot. Okay, but the shot that she got was absolutely stunning and perfection. So then why, do, but the thing is like, why are we focused on what it took to get like all this difficulties? Yeah, you're going to, you're going to have difficulties on a photo shoot. Not every shot's going to be great. And yeah, we would prefer as photographers to have models get more than just one good shot. But we don't know how long the girls had to get this shot they might have had 15 minutes each 20 minutes each w- nobody knows how much time they had maybe they just had a really short time so that's why maybe having one good shot works and relate in and like compared to the time that they had but again we don't know how long that was but i just wish they would just focus on this stunning gorgeous photo in front of them instead of saying oh well you know you did struggle to get there and that your other shots weren't that great yeah, but the one in front of you is amazing. Next is Katarzyna. Katarzyna. Hello, Katarzyna. Katarzyna. Look at that hair. I love it. That weird Eastern European tackiness is now gone. Uh, I do love your hair, Katarzyna. Okay. I just absolutely love it. Katarzyna. Oh. <laughs> what? All right, Neutrogena, let's see your best shot. Okay, what? This is, this is not funny. What did she say? Neutrogena? I gotta listen to this. <laughs> All right, Neutrogena, let's see. 
Why does it say Neutrogena? All right, Neutrogena. <laughs> I can barely hear what they're saying. But just the, the what did she, she made a comment about the tackiness is gone. Yeah, Habibte, it went over to your place. That's where it went. See your best shot. No, no, they didn't pick, no. I don't know that they picked the best shot for her. We all of us saw her doing one of these in the water. And you're telling me you got a shot where both her hands were like, the, no. All right, Neutrogena, let's see your best Wait, shot. Wait, she really called her Neutrogena? That's disrespectful. I, I just thought it was a subtitle error. But she really called her Neutrogena. That's not her name. That's not funny to me at all to mispronounce someone's name on purpose. And they're all having like a little laugh. Oh my gosh, Neutrogena. Really? Would you like it if I called you Tora Blinks? <laughs> yeah? You ready to see your best? <laughs> yes, I am. The whole photo. Why did they pick this photo of her? They're trying to eliminate her. Why did they pick this picture of her? I, even her hair placement's not looking that great. Her hand. She was killing it with the posing. Okay. I don't know why they chose this picture of her. It's not my favorite. With like her body, how it's like scrunched up like that. The whole photo reminds me of a sonogram. It's very interesting. Now that's wow. a full figured fetus. I love it. <laughs> You're alive. It's like. Nice. <gasps> that's the expression I see. <gasps> First breath, right? Because she was trying to breathe. Your film blew me so far away, darling. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right. They like. They like it. Okay. Can't. Uh, she did. A, I mean, she did do a good job. I personally didn't like the photo, but I'm glad. I'm glad that. I, I guess like. Hey, ooh, Dominique, I'm scared of that. Ooh, that top rises any more. I don't know what the bottom part of the dress, right? You know what it is? I think your stockings are too sheer. Uh, so it just makes it look like if you went to go bend down to pick up a pencil, girl, we'd have a show. What pen? Tyra, what pencil? Where? Just give them a uniform. That's what I would say. Oh, we, they always have to bring in on um, what the girls are wearing and say the comments and oh, it looks like your grandma made this and then it turns out like, okay, her grandma did make it. Yeah, this one's a cool one. These are really beautiful. They do look like paintings. The backlight is just gorgeous and the silhouettes are pretty. The colors, I think, are done so well. Very, very cool photo shoot concept. Let's see your best shot. It's a very Ooh, this one's a cool one. I do like that. It's a little close. Like, you can see a little bit more of her face in this. Just so abstract. We see the fabric. I love the, her, the placement of her legs. This one is really beautiful. And I like the angle of her body a lot. Unusual shot. It's a very arty shot. I mean, ultimately, you yeah. almost look like you're dead in this picture. You struggled with the water, too, didn't you? Yeah. This is your film. Yeah, my contact came out and everything. If you had your context in or out, it doesn't matter. It was about movement. Mm -hmm. How did you approach this? Like, I, they told me to focus on movement, so I was moving my arms and trying to keep movement, and, like... This was, this was your weakest for me, the weakest in the whole competition for you. Okay, thank you. They were not happy with that one. I really think she had a legitimate excuse. If you're wearing contacts, it is harder. Anyone out here wearing contacts will understand what she means. Like, you just can't open your eyes in the water. It would... It literally would get floppy in your eye. It would irritate your eye. You would have to take them out. And then if you take them out, you can't see. So it's either you you would struggle with this one if you don't have 20-20 vision. So I don't know. That's just, that's just my opinion on that. Do I think it was her weakest photo? Not necessarily. I haven't seen her past work. And honestly, I really thought the last picture with the one with Whitney, they weren't going to like that one, but they ended up liking it. So it could be just... What they look for in a picture is different from what I think is a nice picture. Everyone, everyone's different. Here's your best shot. Oh my god! Ye wow, number one, number one. Absolutely stunning. I don't even. I'm speechless. 
Well, I'm not because I just said a bunch of stuff, but I, I'm j I don't even have the words to say how beautiful this is. Wow, this one's so beautiful. You guys, the colors are spectacular. I think they picked like the perfect colors for this photo shoot. These pictures are stunning. The photographer did such a good job, captured this mood and concept perfectly. I think she's going to keep Claire. Who would have thought that Claire and Lauren would be standing in front of me? Claire, the judges think that you take gorgeous pictures but they feel like it's one note. I really thought the sonogram picture was going to be in the bottom two. I, th that one to me wasn't the best. So I am, I'm a bit surprised at the bottom two right now. With America's Next Top Model, we're looking for somebody that is diverse and can be a chameleon. And then there's Lauren. You're standing in front of me because the judges see Because of the contacts. The note in this room. It's pretty much the same awkward Lauren. One of them said Frankenstein-like, and that's really severe. Frankenstein. So can this girl that's giving one note Frankenstein. in her photo, can she go on to give us a little diversity? And can this woman that is awkward, maybe loosen up and get a little bit more personality and confidence? Okay, you just called her Frankenstein, and you want her to have confidence? Claire. Oh! Congratulations, Lauren. I think that there's something in you besides. Okay, stop. Okay. A woman cannot take such beautiful pictures and be so awkward. There's something that you have to pull out of those beautiful pictures that you take and present yourself. So, Claire, you gotta get in that mirror and study and figure out how to be soft. She says the same hard. thing. So you gotta get in the mirror. You gotta study. You gotta do the posing, and then go and then become a model. And then, but this is a modeling competition. <laughs> She's like, only then. Can you become a model when you ha when you study in the mirror? The girl, the poor girl, face planted, almost got a concussion maybe, to do this photo shoot, and they sent they sent her home. They're like, she's a liability medically. We can't have her. Got to send her home. We can't foot the medical bill for this girl. We you don't have that in the budget, the insurance. <laughs> but I'm just making stuff up. Let's see what Tyra says besides study in a mirror, and you you're gonna be a model after this. Gotta be soft and hard and so many different things. I am a big chameleon. I don't understand why it's like didn't quite break through. Well, I think you can do a little study and when you get home and figure it out, right? Okay. It's always like just study. Okay. Just just study. I'm looking back at Claire's picture and I'm sorry, but I do not agree with their decision to eliminate her. She did not have the worst photo for the, if they're going on, on a round by round basis based on the final photo, she did not have the worst photo. She had one of the better photos, actually, probably top three, in my opinion. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with them sending Claire home? Did she have the worst photo or do you think that she should have stayed? She had a she had a good photo. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in my next video.